seriously. TV show right now that I'm watching is Money Heist. That one's like really good. It's really intense. You know, um, Spanish is the first language for my primer lenguaje. I never really paid attention too much to Spanish shows before. Now that they're all over Netflix and, you know, the Spanish community is growing more, you know, you start to really appreciate your culture and where you come from. Like, I started to play. Yes. Who doesn't love it? Heist, you know? <laughs> That's a good show. Friends. I miss Friends. I mean, who doesn't miss Friends? I, I think it's one of those shows that, like, you know, you, ha you have some great people, you know, a part of the ensemble cast. And on top of that, they always make me laugh. And it's one of those that I could just leave in the background playing and do everything else and still hear some, some of the lines and still laugh. Je m'appelle Claude. Je de coupe plow. <laughs> it's one of those shows that you could just always go to after a long day. Friends, yeah. <laughs> yeah, friends for sure, friends for sure. Oh, wow, that's a good one. Um, I'm curious as to Elite, you know, it's a Spanish show as well. It reminds me a lot of 13 Reasons Why in many ways, you know, because it deals with a lot of the high school drama that a lot of characters go through, you know, that emotional abuse and all, sometimes physical, obviously. So I would like to be a part of that world just to see the similarities and the differences. <sighs> Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> I said it. <laughs> yeah, once I saw her on Friends, I was just like, who is that? Oh my God. And then it's Natalie Portman. She's, uh, Natalie Portman is amazing. My dream co-star, Bobby De Niro, Robert De Niro. That's what I call him. Or, you know, Leonardo DiCaprio, one of those, you know, and some of the younger guys, you know, like Margaret Qu uh, Qualey, you know, she's great. She was just recently in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, you know, and I'd love to work with, you know, the, some of these up and coming actors, you know, Austin Butler. I want to obviously work with my idols, but I want to also continue to be a part of the people that are going to grow this era. Euphoria. Just because I know that show is really intense and it's very grounded and that's what I like about it, you know, it's very real, it doesn't hide the teenage drug dealer or the teenage drug abuser, you know, it doesn't hide from rawness. Look man, all I, all I need is just like a few OCs. I'm sorry, but you can't be coming over here no more. Uh, I'd like one day on that show just to really uh, sink into my personal flaws, you know. I might be bold for saying this, but I have never watched Breaking Bad. What the hell is wrong with you? I've never watched it, so I'm hearing all this hype about you gotta watch Breaking Bad, so maybe I'll give it a go. Maybe. It'll be friends. Yeah, that's an easy one. Just because it's always made me feel the best, you know? Not, not talking storyline or anything like that. I know there's a lot more better shows with better acting, you know, just because I know the impact that Friends has had on my life and others around me, and the mood changer, you know, so it's uh, it's all about the feeling, you know, and that Friends breaks that.